Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an effect that looks like this. Stop! I just wanna start this video off by saying thank you so incredibly much to each and every one out there that has pushed the subscribe button, that is watching my videos, that is liking my videos, that is dropping comments and spending time watching the content that I produce. And uh, if this is your first time watching me, then I'm just gonna say welcome to the channel. I really hope that you will enjoy the content. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to consider doing that because, you know, that'd be appreciated. So if you've been here on the channel for a while, then you probably have seen the hacker B-roll that I shot a couple of months back where I used this effect, which is called a freeze frame effect. And the reason that I wanted to have that in that sequence was because I didn't want it to feel like the same old B-roll over and over again and wanted to do something differently. And there's been a lot of you asking on how I did that very effect. It's actually a plugin that I bought from motionvfx.com that is called Freeze Frame, but let me show you how to actually use it in a project. So in Final Cut Pro, the first thing that we wanna do is making sure that we have the right clip that we wanna use on our timeline. What you want to do is that you wanna mark the clip and then you wanna to go to the point where you want to freeze the frame. And then you're gonna set the playhead and then you're gonna hit Alt F. And what it does is that it gives you a freeze frame but no effect added to it. So it doesn't look as exciting as it could be. And that is why we're gonna add the cool effects with the freeze frame plugin. So we're gonna go up here to the generators and then we're gonna go down to M freeze frame action. And there's a bunch of different ones that you can use that might fit your project the best. But, and uh, I'm gonna go with this, with a fire looking really fierce, dangerous and oh! So what we want to do is that we wanna click and drag this to the timeline and we're gonna place it above the actual footage that we have. We're gonna drop it right here and then we're gonna set the playhead just before the freeze frame begins. And then we're gonna make sure that the freeze frame is selected. And then we're gonna press the comma to move one frame back to here. So just as the fire starts, that is where we wanna have the freeze frame begin. It actually looks pretty good already, but we're not done yet. We're gonna do a couple of different things to add to the whole epicness of this shot. So now we're gonna go back and set the playhead just at the start of the actual freeze frame. So we're gonna set it right here, and then we're gonna mark the freeze frame, and then we're gonna press set current frame. There we go, and then we want to mask out ourselves with the pen tool that is included in the freeze frame app. So we are basically just gonna click all the way around the outline of me and then we're gonna connect them. There we go. And playing this back, it looks like this. <gasps> which is actually pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do some slight adjustments to this. So we're gonna mark the freeze frame effect, and then we're gonna go into the text parameters up here, and then we're gonna set the mask outline. So we're gonna drag the mask outline range up to 20, and then we wanna blur this out a little bit. So we're gonna blur it out to somewhere around there, and then we're gonna reduce the scale of the mask slightly. And if you wanna change how big the mask gets, then you can adjust that right here. So say for example, I have it at 18, playing that back, it's gonna increase like a whole lot, but we don't wanna have it increasing that much. So we're gonna regret, so <laughs> regret that. And looking at all the different published parameters that you can see, there's a bunch of different settings that you can add. All of them basically comes with the same thing and you can adjust the position of the fire. So we're gonna like reduce the scale and place it somewhere around here. And then we can adjust this fire and place it down here so it's not too obvious. And you can also change the background scale if you want to do that and make it look a little bit less static. And there is a bunch of different things that you can play around with in this plugin that is gonna affect the look of your freeze frame, the outcome and how it's gonna like fit into your video. But yeah, I actually do think this looks pretty darn good. So what I want to do now is that I want to add a text to this, like to get the effect that we had on the hacker B-roll. So we're gonna go back to the freeze frame action and then we're gonna scroll down and I'm gonna choose this text, the typography 03. And then we're gonna drag it to the timeline and place it just at the same as the plugin. So what I want to do is just shorten this down 
and then we're gonna select it and then we're gonna go into the text parameters and then we're gonna go to the header and then we're gonna change this from M to the epic fist and then we're gonna scroll down to the title and then we're gonna write off fury that looks pretty good right adjust the position of these oh i totally forgot we haven't turned off the subtitles so we're gonna go down to the subtitle options and then we're gonna turn that off and we're just gonna move it a little bit to the right so we're gonna move it over here and then we're gonna move this as well let's try to play this back so Oof. now that looks good so the only thing that i want to do now is add a little bit of sound effects to give it that like professional touch before i post it in this video in the beginning it's weird talking about something that i yeah i'm not done yeah and as you probably know by now i'm using the anticipation pack from lens distortion for a lot of my sounds and i want to have like a huge hit so we're going to choose the stadium light b and then we're gonna drag this to our timeline and then we're gonna choose the tough hit B as well. So we're gonna drag this to our timeline and then we're gonna choose the stadium light B and we're gonna hold down alt and we're gonna duplicate this and then we're gonna choose the little clock here and then we're gonna choose reverse clip and then we're gonna shorten this down and drag it back to somewhere around here and then playing this back. So we have that so. And then we're gonna select this clip and we're gonna choose detach audio and then we're gonna extend my beautiful oh, voice. Now I kinda wanna have a little bit of flames being like We're gonna head over to Epidemic Sound, then we're gonna write uh, fire and then we're gonna go to sound effects, fireplace. We're gonna download this one because it sounded like I wanna have that in background. Maybe like a fire burst. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. We're gonna download that too. Maybe like a fire, fireball. Let's see, fireball burst. Oh, that is perfect. We're gonna download this and let's have a listen to the second one. Yeah, we're gonna download that too. So we get like two different tones into the effect. And then we're just gonna adjust the sounds so that they fit with the whole freeze frames. And uh, you know what? I actually think we're pretty much done there. So here is the final result. So there's a bunch of things that you can do with the freeze frame plugin that I didn't show you in this video, but it's a really, really fun plugin to have and is really versatile when it comes to like making that extra pop in your videos and making your videos stand out because that's an effect that you usually only seen in action movies in Hollywood, which I think is pretty cool. But uh, you know, it's uh, gonna be up to you if you wanna try it out, but I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below so you can go there and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you know what? This is actually pretty cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up because that would be highly appreciated. My name is Albert Presley. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, Peter from Sweden is uh, saying goodbye. Have a good one.